We are here at Combo Dojo in Valencia, Spain, this Sunday, receiving the very, very important visit from uh, Shiucho Carlos Santos, here on my left. And as, uh, it's like a, um, it's a costume to do on this Sunday to, to show you to all our viewers a very, very uh, nice and interesting perspective from the vision of uh, Carlos Santos preparing for Sensei graduation. And uh, in this case, I, I have found interesting to, to show you by Carlos Santos' explanation about what it's AMU. Then, Carlos Santos, I have seen that you have been studying with other uh, students here on this Sunday about AMU, this classical system study school. Explain to all our viewers about uh, this topic, please. Thank you so much, Hilos. Well, AMU is uh, comprised into a really, really classical Jiu-Jitsu techniques. Uh, AMU means uh, like to knit or like to, to cross, to, to, to make uh, a really nice network with your body and the body. Or to play. Yeah, to, to play uh, against your opponent. So it was used by the season uh, in the way to be able to lock the opponent and to position the opponent, uh, to move with the opponent into a very particular uh, place in order to be able to project him uh, against the environment. Remember that uh, the northern, well, most of the island in, in Japan are from, from volcanic origin, so you will have several kind of basic rocks around, so you, you will find really hard soil uh, around the environment, so they were masters of using the environment against the enemy. So these techniques is try to to, to use uh, leverage with your body against the body of your opponent to move it and position it and then use the environment as a particular way to harm the, the, the opponent. So, well, you will say that, well, most Jiu Jitsu, it, it's about to, to use the floor, etc. But in this case, uh, uh, we will show how the locking will take place and the position of the opponent to look exactly a place where to project the yes. opponent. As I think that the most uh, doubly thing uh, here is to make the difference between Jiu-Jitsu and especially what it's AMU, the strike AMU it's a yeah, specific it's study, an <laughs> it's an study because it's AMU no Giko or AMU no Ho, that is the most correct way to, to name it. Uh, I think that the best way is that you yes. perform, I will help you, Thank that you is sure. the best way I can. And please show one speci and uh, specify the details that yeah. you you think. Thank you so much. Can you please put this? Uh, of course. Uh, we can do with any attack because of the season style. Yeah. So, but uh, we're going to use it on top because it's short and will really help us to to make more didactical approach. Of course. That so, for example, if you can attack me with it on top, okay. maybe. On our vertical line, okay, maybe in, in the same way. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So, we look here. And one of the main interesting facts is that we are going to struggle. So, we're going to use force against one against the other. So, you will do a lot of strength here, and I will try to defend here. This is important because sometimes it seems that, uh, mainly, that it seems that we are not applying uh, strength in the. Yes. Uh, but uh, the most da doubts that we could find is what happens if we are dealing with a strong man and a strong attack with a real knife, what will happen because of course wooden tanto, yes. wooden uh, knife, yes. it's not, uh, it's not uh, risky. And, but if I attack a strong, what it will happen? Yes. It's important for us yes. to understand what happens in you know, the And in this case, if you allow me, uh, the strength of the opponent actually is an advantage for you. Because, for example, maybe another technique, if your attack is strong, and I go here, then I will try to, to make you go, okay, to try to use that your energy to, to project you. But in this case, I want to struggle with you. It's something that I really need, because with that struggling, I will be able to lock your uh, upper thorax with, uh, in, in different extremities, and then I can project you. 
So in, in this case, okay, in theory it's clear. Let's go to the what's yes. the real way. So you see? Yeah. Now we are struggling and even if you're really really strong, I am just it's your your elbow against my whole body. There is going up here. Then uh, we can move, for example. Then you are stepping on my yes, on my, yes, I am my I, lower I, I, legs. Actually, I'm okay. trying because this is just for representation and the characterization of the technique. And then I move to a particular place when then I can project you. Yeah. Against something you're going to, to go with your head against okay. any particular area. Okay. Okay. Could could you show the throw for the for the uh, for the viewers, please sir? If you could show the the throw for the, ah, the, the projection. Yeah. Okay, And this is another interesting part of the technique. The, the ending of the technique. I'm not going to do this really strong, but we are going to use the upper part of your head. I'm going to compress the cervical line using my whole body and then I will break the yoke. Uh, and it will break the, the upper part of the neck. So it's a really, really a strong movement because I've already been projected. I'm also stepping into his elbow. I'm not doing this because it will cause a lot of harm. But then the project and break. This is another characteristic of the of a move. Okay. Uh, as a study, for example, we can make several leverage. A several projections. For example, if you attack me, same way. The same way. Okay. You can go here, for example, then you struggle with me, and okay, you want to go down. Nice. Okay. I can, and then I can, for example, project you. Yes. Backward and use your head uh, towards any other object. I, I can I can walk also, but you're in a really really uncomfortable position. I'm not going to to move you in that position, but for the tactical reason. That's a, a, a very important thing to do. And also for the, in the original uh, perfect of the, of the technique, we can do it not only in the upper torso, we can also do it after the projection. Yeah. For example, if you, instead of attacking me with the tanto, if you can, I leave please, you yes, okay. please, thank you. If you can please give me a frontal uh, kick or my shushi. Okay. And then, sorry, I'm going really, really slow. Then I can lock. For example, here. I can lock here. If you can see here, I will put this in this position, sorry. And then I can oh, cut. Because I have my Achilles. Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 It's already here. Of course, I can do it. More painful. I can just constrain this. Yes. And, but this is not uh, just showing that I'm actually been able to cut. Yes. I feel my ankle is locked here. Yeah. yeah. Also, for example, instead of going that direction, I can go in this direction, and you will see that my leg is compressing your knee. Okay. And if I turn, yes, I can break. My, my knee. My yeah, knee. it's very do this. Oh, yes. Okay. Of course, we're not going to more to do more harm than what is actually just needed to to show the the technique. Okay. So a uh, move is all these ideas to be able to lock the extremity, to control the opponent and project the opponent against a particular area in the surrounding, and after that, being able to to break and to be able to dismember some areas because it's a, it's a characteristic of the Sicilian people that as they were outnumbered by, by, by the enemies so they need to use fear, they need to use the psychological fact that the opponents say, oh, these guys are really, really strong even demons in, in that age they, they use this, this kind of ideas to say, oh, what kind of man can break uh, a samurai like that. So they use that particular psychological factor against enemies.
Okay, Sue uh, Chukano san, thank you very much. Thank you so much, yeah. you are doing great. Thank you very much because I think this video has been one of the best in regarding in continuous to anthropological and of course the degree of uh, violence and damages that uh, in, with AMU, with this uh, topic you could cause to the enemy then. Uh, I have enjoyed it too much. I hope you, all of you, have also enjoyed Then Thank you for watching our channel for giving all your support and keep uh, updated to our, to our news. Thank you very much. Carlos Sánchez.